What up, everybody? Big D coming to you. No break today. We are going to do an unboxing. We've got some graded cards back from Arena Club, and these are some of the cards that you've seen pulled on the channel, some of the lower-end parallels. Let's see if uh, we can get some good uh, grades on this and flip them for some good money. Uh, and this is a blind reveal. Uh, before we get started, welcome to all the new subscribers who've come on board. If you're not a new subscriber to this channel, well, I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, man. Smash that subscribe button for me. Give me a big thumbs up, like, of course, leave your comments down below, and follow me on the gram at 505 underscore memorabilia. Uh, so this was the last of the uh, 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 cards I got in under that $7 deal for the grading, so uh, I'm excited to see what we get. Uh, Arena Club, if you're not familiar with them, grading service like any others. However, uh, let me pull uh, a different one here. So here's here's what they look like. Uh, if you have anything less than a 10, it will be in black. Uh, if you have a perfect card, everything's good. This will be in gold and say perfect 10. Otherwise, it is a gem mint. The backside is going to give you uh, subgrades, so you will see where you're at, and of course they use AI technology along with uh, human eye, so they scan the card, they look at it, verify that any blemishes or issues that they see is also verified by a human eye, so you are getting a very accurate grade on the card. A lot of cards that if you've gone back and watched uh, some other my other Arena Club grades I've done, uh, they've been PSA cards I was undergraded on. And then uh, I sent over to them, and I think I feel very good and confident about the grades I got because I kind of got what I thought I should have got from PSA. So let's get into this. Uh, I can't find my scissors, so we're going to use a screwdriver. That works just as well to open up. This just kind of came in the mail, so I am... Uh, excited to see what we got let me grab some some uh fillers here to kind of hide uh to kind of hide some of these grades so we don't see what we got here now this is going to have a, a bit of a mix of personal cards along with uh this is gonna personal cards along with some of those cards that we uh, we got on the uh, uh, that were pulled. Okay, all right. So I just lost my other filler I had. Where'd that go? Um, oh well, well we'll just grab another one right here. Okay, put that there. Let's see. Okay, so this is a Trevor Story. And, and well, I kind of showed that there. So we got a Gem Mint 10 there on the blue. As you can see, this is 12 out of 15. This is the blue fluorescent. Um, no, very nice. Um, happy with that grade, a 10. Very good. Uh, what do we have? We had corners so you can scan that qr code it'll take you over to the website you can view the pop report as well as you can see where they found uh, any issues with the card so i like it okay all right oh next okay so here's one of the ones that we got this is the daniel susek Bowman uh, 2023 Bowman Refractor Chrome. And it is numbered, of course, 345 of 499. And we pulled a 10. Nice. I should be able to flip this card. I think for a good price, I probably, you know, should be able to get probably 20 bucks for this flipped with a gem mint. What do we have? Centering. Ooh. Yay. Where are we off? Oh, yep. Top sides look good, but top to bottom, we are a little bit off on that. But I'm all right with that. OK, 
Okay. Well, oh, here we go. Here's the Cunia Silver Foil Board. I'm excited about this one. A 9.5. No. Oh. I had high hopes on that. Corners and surface. Ooh, we got a surface issue. I'm trying to see here. Man, I don't see anything wrong with that surface. That surface looks flawless. Oh, what a bummer on that. Darn. I had high hopes on that one to get a 10. Uh, because I've seen what the PSA 10 in these sell for. Man, high hopes. Bummer. Okay. All right. Our next card. Oh, Brock Purdy. Here we go. Here's the Purdy Photogenic Bronze. And a 9.5. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, corners. Let me see. Let me get this in better light to see. Oh, uh, yeah. Both these corners right there. And right there, we got a little bit of white showing. Ah, oh, another bummer, man. Darn. Ah, another one I had super high hopes for. Well, these will be listed on my eBay page starting at 99 cents. And uh, if you're looking for a cheap slab, purdy, or uh, Acuna, uh, yeah, they'll be available at a discounted rate. All right. Oh, here we have the the teal uh, Kenny Pickett. Oh, are you kidding me? An eight and a half. Ah, corners. Ah, uh, you know, this top corner. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's got kind of a little bit of a rounded edge on that corner. Ah, oh, another, another bummer. Well, and good, another cheap card if you're looking for it. You can probably pick those up cheap on my eBay page. Ah, oh, bummer. All right, this one's for the PC. This is Herman Marquez. This is from 22 Cosmic. This is the orange, number to 25. And we pull a 10, I guess. I'm I'm good. I'm good with that centering. How, honestly, how do you tell the centering when there's really no borders on this? It's still a nice card. Uh, that that's another one we saw, and I'll put that one over here. Well, it's a PC card, and I'm happy that my PC cards do hit a little bit. All right, next. Okay, or Judge. So this is another silver foil board Judge. And a nine and a half. Come on. Man, you guys are going to pick up some cheap cards. If you're looking for a uh, parallel judge cheap, just like Purdy and Pickett and Acuna, uh, they'll be on my eBay page. Corners. Again. Where? I got to say, I'm, I'm looking at both sides on this card. And, man, I don't see any issues with that corner. So, I'm going to have to check that QR code to find out what. Man, what a bummer on those cards. Okay. Our next one. Okay, we got Kenny Pickett. Here's a photogenic. This is a uh, another bronze. Oh, man, I gambled on these and... Phew, Boy, did I lose. <laughs> uh, corners again. Where? I'm looking here. Man, I don't see any corner problems. I'm looking at the front and the back. Oh, my goodness. Another one I'll have to look to see. Yeah, uh, you know what? Look at right there. We got a bit of a rounded edge on that corner. Oh, 
Man. Boy, well, this did not work out in my favor. I took the gamble. All right. And we got Marquez, another PC card here, an eight and a half. Are you kidding me? Surface. Oh my, oh my goodness, I just see it now after I put it into the light. I don't know how I missed that. Man. I don't know if you can tell in this picture here. There's a print line running all the way up on that. Oh my goodness. That's on me. Ah, well, that is another bummer. I didn't see that. I would not have sent that had I noticed that, that... All right, next. Okay, so we have the Trevor Story. This is the stamp of approval. Um, I This was kind of a test card for me to send out to see how these grade. And we got a 10. Very nice. That's a, And a thick card, too. Corners, 9.5. You know what? I'll take that, on, especially on these thick cards. So I show you that. This is numbered to 99 uh, on it. Let me go ahead and show you <laughs> all of these to 99. Yes, I am uh, I am cornering the market on to 99. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, all right, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. All right, our next our next one. Clayton Kershaw. All right, silver foil board. These are actually the, Graded with a 10 uh, on any Kershaw parallel. And the foil boards, I checked out the, the PSA 10s on these, sell very well. And we pulled a 10. All right. I'll take that. But, man, not the one I wanted to get a 10 on, I'll tell you that much. Good. We got a little bit, a little soft corner somewhere on that. I'm not too worried, but dang. The two cards I got 10s on... Uh, we're not kind of the ones I wanted. Okay, next. Oh, Bailey Zappi. I now I sent this off before you know before Zappi uh, lost. So this one's kind of a again a bummer card. This is the uh, uh, black uh, prism black silver and a nine five. Oh my goodness! Corners and centering. And a little thick up top. Oh, uh, no, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't, just it's a bit thick up top or a thin up top, but I don't know, man. I don't know if that's deserving of a nine on that centering, but all right. Well, man, uh, this has not been good for me. <laughs> out there this is what happens when you gamble all right uh hunter green his stock has gone up this is the uh gold to 2023 man if you guys are looking for some cheap slabbed cards uh, i got you covered these all these cards the nine nine five and less are going to be listed for 99 cents and have at it. You could probably win one of these for 99 cents. Corners and edges. Really? Let's see if I can see anything. The edges, I can't really tell. But that corner, got a little roundness to it. Man. All right, we got two cards left. I'm bummed. <laughs> uh, I am totally bummed. Adley Rushman, this is the base. Um, these sell in a PSA 10 for about 40 bucks. So an arena club, if I could pull 30, I'd, I'd be happy with that. And a 10. All right. Well, that's, that's good. That's one I wanted. The only thing, corners. Yeah. I, I, I may question that a little bit. And our final card. 
All right. Another PC card, Trevor Story. This is the Gold Disco. And 9-5. Ouch. Well, I did not do very well on this centering. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, look at that. Wow. You know, when you're when you're looking at these and inspecting, sometimes, you know, you look at so many cards and they, they kind of play tricks with your eyes. Ah, well, uh, my, I had five PC cards here. Uh, nine, five, ten, ten, ten. Did pretty well, except for that one that has this print line running through it that I uh, missed. I don't know how. Um, on it. And then the parallel cards they're sending out. These ones are going to be listed super cheap. Uh, 99 cents starting bid on my eBay page. Uh, they should be up right now. Uh, Acuna uh, Silver Foil Board. Brock Purdy Bro Photogenic Bronze. Aaron Judge. If you've, you're looking for these three guys and you've been looking for a parallel or a slab card, here's your chance to pick them up cheap. Uh, Judge. Uh, Kenny Pickett, uh, Bailey Zappi, uh, Hunter Green, and a five. Jeez, man, I might as well give that one away. That stinks. And then our tens, which I did not do very well on. Rushman, probably the best one out of that that we hit on. Kershaw and Susek. Um, yeah. That's the best one right there we uh, we hit on. Well, so I took it on this. Uh, man, I'm bummed. <laughs> I did not do well on this at all. My PC cards did, did very well. Uh, the cards that I wanted to send in, these low level, try and flip for a little bit more just because I got these in at $7 was the only reason why I sent those off. Um, backfired on me, but that's what happens when you gamble. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for taking, uh, watching the video, seeing me, uh, totally take it, uh, terribly, terribly, terribly. I got kicked in the face on this one. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we will see you next time around again. Make sure you like comment and subscribe. Follow me on the gram 505 underscore memorabilia links to everything. Me will be down in the description below and we will see you next time around. Thank you so much guys. Take care. Be safe. Don't do anything I want to do. And as always guys, peace.